Hey everybody, Lloyd Fernandez here, another video. I'm sitting here with Josh Jackson. Happy Black Friday, everybody. That's right, happy Thanksgiving, late Thanksgiving and have a good Black Friday, anybody out there shopping. So we're back with another video, basically wanna go into another um, aspect of EXP, why it's a great company to come if you're a real estate agent out there looking to, or somebody looking to get into real estate. Uh, we're gonna hit, we're gonna touch on today about the commissions with EXP Realty. I know a lot of people are curious to uh, how does it work here at EXP when it comes to getting your commission splits and, and your overall, how much you're making versus how much you would make somewhere else. So I'm gonna let Josh take over. He's gonna get into how that works mathematically. Yeah, so while everybody out there on Black Friday is thinking about spending money, I'm gonna try to help put some more money in your pocket. So, uh, and it, uh, try to get you a little bit of a raise. So a lot of t around this time of year, a lot of agents are looking at their business and they're maybe may or may not be thinking about a change, but they're at least analyzing their numbers, trying to set goals, at least you should be. And you're looking at a lot of times you're looking at the money that comes out of your pocket to pay your broker uh, uh, and how much value you get back in, in, in return. So uh, what, what I want to do is just go over the, the, the commission split here, EXP, it's 80-20 split. Uh, they cap you at 16,000, so some companies have a cap, some don't. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about is a lot of agents, they don't think about all the money that they pay their broker. When, you, when I ask a lot of agents about their cap or their, or their split, they might, uh, not, not all of them disclose it, but you know, um, what they don't talk about is a lot of them have royalty fees, franchise fees, desk fees, and what they're also not talking about and what they're calculating, what they're paying their brokers, their transaction fees. Uh, a lot of your brokers are taking anywhere from $100 a file to $400 a file. And agents in the past have not really uh, looked at that money as going into the pocket, into their pocket. They just, it's always went into the broker's pocket. So they've never really uh, counted that as money that potentially could go into their pocket. But with our company, um, while you're on an 80-20 split, the transaction fee is only $65. And that does, uh, that breaks down into $25 of that is for broker review and $40 of that is for your E&O insurance. So, you know, it's covered in, into that um, $60, $65 per file. So it's 80-20 split, $16,000 cap, uh, $65 per file transaction fee. So if you're normally charging, you know, $195 to $395 or whatever it is, you can now um, you know, give that back to yourself as a raise. In addition to, uh, there's no royalty fees, franchise fees, or desk fees. So it's just an 80-20 split. There's no other 3% or 6% that comes off, off the top of that. Um, so it's, so for, for instance, if you did $3 million in business last year, and uh, it was a roughly $150,000 sale price, you would close about 20 files. Uh, what you would have paid into EXP total would be $18,320. Um, now that is the $16,000 cap. That's 20 files at $65 uh, transaction fee. And then that, uh, we do have an $85 per month tech fee, but with that you get uh, access to EXP World, Workplace, ton more technology than probably any brokerage even thinks of. And then we have um, we have KB Core, which is a, a CRM and a lead uh, management system that basically is uh, $500 a month. If you go to them directly, you get that included in your $85. So that's another thing that you have to look at is your broker providing a website and a CRM. And if you're paying for that out of pocket, uh, you would eliminate all that expense and have that um, wrapped up into what you're paying your broker. So if you did 20 files, around 3 million in volume, you would pay the e EXP approximately 18,000 $18, $320. It shouldn't be approximately. That should be what it should be. Um, uh, so we just wanted to run that by you. What you, what you should do is uh, look at all the money you're paying your broker. Uh, calculate that up. If you're paying way more than that, come check us out and we'd be happy to tell you what you get in return. Then you have to look at what you get in addition to what, right. you're, what, what you're paying in and then what you get from your broker and what this broker provides is you know, we're going to break that down in separate videos. And I'm glad that you touched on the fact that a lot of agents ain't, aren't looking into the fact like the 6% um, uh, administrative fee on top of the transaction fee that another agent doesn't even think that, um, you know, they don't look at it as possible income versus here. And this is just the um, commission and, and the transactions. 
we're not even touching on any of the stock or any of the um, revenue sharing when you when you get agents under you. So that this is just strictly how to uh, how to how does it work with commission? So there's other ways we also get money within EXP outside of what Josh and just ran down on, correct? Yeah, no, this company allows you to uh, w with what you pay EXP, you ha it unlocks you the opportunity to to get stock awards and get revenue sharing and mm -hmm. and um, you know there's we're now doing other affiliated services and things like that. So there's multiple streams of income that you can build while you're here. But that's another video. That's, that's a couple <laughs> more videos. So you gotta stay tuned for those videos. Last week we were talking about the healthcare that um, is kind of innovative in the industry that they're, the EXP is, is, is giving an opportunity for uh, affordable healthcare in our industry, which is innovative. So check so out our other video yeah, if you wanna back, see that. Watch that. And uh, again, if you have any questions on the commission splits and what we just went over, uh, please let us know. Contact us. You can contact, contact us through email. You can call us. You can contact us on Facebook. Make sure you go to the YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Uh, Josh Jackson, the Jackson uh, real estate team here in EXP Realty. You got Boy Fernandez here at the EXP uh, uh -huh. Realty. Real quick, if you do more than 20 vials, uh, once you do more than, once you cap here, oh, then yeah. it's 100% and then it's only $250 transaction fee. That's only for 20 files. If you can do 20 files, then that unlock icon and you get your entire cap back in stock. So you can get $16,000 mm -hmm. back in stock. And so in this scenario, you would you would take you about 40 files because it would take you 20 to cap and then 20 to do your uh, do your uh, the five thousand dollars in transaction fee. So it would take you 40 files. But if you do 40 files or more in our market or anywhere, anywhere, we can we can we want to uh, expand our uh, to to other states and we can we want to expand our network to other countries. So uh, if you're if you're an agent out there watching this anywhere, if you have any questions, give us a holler. Yep, and, and, and basically what you're saying is after the 16,000, you cap at 100%, you go to 20 transactions, give or take, after you cap, it's 250 per file. Then after the 20, you're at icon status, then it's just- Then it goes back to 75. 75 per transaction after the 20, after the cap. Yep. Yep, there you go, guys. So again, if you have any questions, want any more details, this is a brief video, but we wanted to make sure we get the message out there. Please contact us. Again, Josh Jackson, Lloyd Fernandez here at EXP Realty. You, you know where to find us. We're in York, Pennsylvania, Lancaster, Harrisburg, Hanover, Adams County. All right, guys. So make sure you have a good Black Friday. Don't spend too much of your money and think about making money. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.